We're rolling. This is it. This is oh, episode great. 410. Ooh. Let's let's just focus on that for a half a second here. 410 episodes. Shane Torres is back. Is with it 414 me. today? The date? Uh no, it's 415. Oh. It's so it, four we could have added the four and the ten, it would have been four fourteen on four fourteen. Sheet. Well cut. Let's come back tomorrow. We'll get, well, yeah, we, yesterday. Yeah, we'll Let's come back yesterday. Yes, yeah, we did this, this on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually, yeah, today is 4 15, yeah. April 15th, which to most people is like, oh shit, tax day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. So, uh, Shane, the IRS uh, uh, sent me a message and wants to know. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, but, they, uh, why would they come to you? <laughs> they knew you'd be here. Yeah. Uh, why I'm connected. No, um, Thankfully, they did push that back at least, I think, a month yeah, this yeah, year. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be all right. So here we are, episode 410. You were here not incredibly long ago. No, no. I was back. Uh, I was here in August, I think. August. Like, August of 2020. In the yeah. in, in the middle. Yeah. In, so in between, like nine months, it's been about, yeah. In between two shutdowns. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were here. I'm really... Can't get enough of this city. I can't get enough of this city when it's muted. Yeah. When when it's pretty quiet. I love Minneapolis. When the life is out of it, that's when they say, "Let's bring in the big guns and and put a little gas on the fire, see if the city's to come back to life." And by Saturday at ten thirty, we're gonna know. Yeah. Darn right. But, so are you telling people this is your home club now that you've been here twice in a year? Yeah, and I'm doing that. That's what I, I, I'm like. I come here and I, I, be, I live at the Homewood Suites, <laughs> <laughs> and then I, uh, I sustain myself. Uh, I eat two meals a day, one from the breakfast bar there, and then one when I come to the club, <laughs> and, and that's what I do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's but my the, home club. Yeah, yeah <laughs> except that yeah, Acme doesn't uh, serve lunch anymore. Uh, so you really got to space those meals out. That's no good. Oh boy, no good. Do you yeah. have so you, what you're saying is you have squatters' rights. I do, <laughs> I do. Yeah, like uh, if I got mail there, I wonder if that would imply the squatters' rights at, at a at a hotel. That'd be really funny if you did that. They're like, we don't even have a place to put mail for people, but I guess we'll set up a mailbox. Uh, yeah, I mean, like mail can show up to a hotel for you. Yeah, sure. So maybe you could. I wonder. That's like what it seems like in movies. They're like, my mail shows up here. I can stay here as long as I want. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, that's like when they're trying to kick someone out of a house or something. Well, maybe not, though. Who Transfer knows? your home phone number. Yeah. I was like, uh, I'm extension room 318. <laughs> yeah. So here we are. We're back. at You're back at Acme. This is Acme's podcast. Yes. You did a show last night. Yeah. How did it go? Um, It was good, I thought. I thought... It's very weird right now because I don't know if I have done an hour of stand-up since the last time I was here. Is that right? May, I mean, I, I, that might not be true. I could probably look at my calendar and see, but I think it's a... So I was here in August, right? And yeah. just scaling back. Uh, No, I have. I, definitely, I did some in February. Yeah. So here and there, but it's like, you know, it's... A little sparse, to be honest. Yeah. Like, because I was here in August, and then I didn't have another hour show until November. You're still and living in New York? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. And then and it's kind of been sparse since then. And, and then after November, I didn't have one till fucking February. So... And yeah, I haven't done I haven't done hours since February. I've been on other spots, but yeah. Yeah. So what is... Uh, what's the situation been for you performing in New York? Um... There are, oh, they finally opened venues, uh, uh, though some have remained to st- chose to to remain to stay closed for a little bit till the capacity goes up. Right. Uh, but they've opened venues, and April second, I think it was. Yeah. So that what that's two weeks ago. You know, like that that people can go to live performance again. Yeah. Um, but before that, people were doing a lot of outside stuff or like. Uh, I guess technically legal shows, but really brushing up against. Yeah, yeah. Like, I heard there was. They're like, a- like we're doing com, like, because uh, the rule was like you could have music in like a restaurant if you had like a li- just had live music, but it couldn't be the attraction. So we'd have to be like, come to dinner, come to funny dinner, <laughs> <laughs> like or or whatever, you know, like yeah, wink, <laughs> you know, like. 
because it was like ambient uh, entertainment or whatever, you know. Right, it, right. It fell under. It's like, complimentary. It, well, we're yeah, just charging. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Like, we're charging could, sixty now for spaghetti. But, yeah, that's uh, kind of what it was. Like people were fi- trying to find ways because they needed to, you know, to a degree. Like they weren't getting enough help that they needed. Hell but, yeah, yeah. So when things, uh, you know, weren't really open, what have you been doing to fill your time? Mm. What's keeping you busy? Um, I've been exercising a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm smaller than I was the last time you guys saw me. I hope. <laughs> Jesus. If well, I'm, we're on YouTube. There's video of this, so yeah, I'm. Can, uh, I definitely am. You know, I know I am, but I'm like, I don't want to look it up because then I'll be like, if it's not enough, yeah, you know, like smaller. Uh, when did you mention? When did I hear you mention this that you were uh like uh, measuring what you were eating? Did I hear you say that? I, well, I never measured year? what I was eating, but I got on a I got on a meal plan. A meal for, plan. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, my wife is sort of doing uh, not a meal plan, but you're she's straight, doing, huh? No. You're straight. <laughs> 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 hey, you heard, you heard about the uh, uh, the Bachelor no. just came out, Shane. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> One of the guys that was that was famous because of being on the Bachelor. Oh, is a is a gay guy? He's a gay guy. Oh, yeah. good for him. <laughs> so <laughs> it's funny that you asked that. Wow, well, that's an interesting. Uh, yeah, he was the be. guy that like you know was set up with all these dates or whatever. And yeah, I mean, well, I want to. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad he came out. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So yeah. I was saying that my wife is doing like a uh, like she like now measures what she's eating, and then the other day she was like, I need to go in front of the mirror and measure all of my body parts, and she wasn't looking forward to doing that. No one is. What the fuck? <laughs> we're, we're not all wiry sticks like you. <laughs> like. What I mean, like, what do you weigh? One hundred and thirty pounds. <laughs> All in the midsection. Yeah. How much do you weigh? Uh, I uh, more than one thirty, but not 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 a ton more. One fifty yeah. something, probably. Yeah, and you're kind of a small one. Fi- you're like a you're not a big one fifty. No, you know, you're you're pretty tall. Yeah, five eleven. Yeah, but you're not uh bulky. You know, you're not wide. Is that yeah? Like no. Yeah. No. Nope. Good for you. <laughs> Yeah. It's not because I, was, I'm I doing mean, I guess like 15 minutes of my set last night was me talking about stress eating when I saw the ticket numbers. <laughs> uh, uh, I can. I did. I like, I went to the bar, and he was like, "Oh, he's got kitchens closing up." I'd be like, "What would you like?" And I was like, "I'll have uh, I'll have the club sandwich, and instead of fries, I'll have the ravioli." Uh, and that's exactly what I did. And I ate all of it like such a fat fuck. Oh. Uh, well worth it though. Yeah, nah. No. I just <laughs> what I left in my toilet this morning should no. never. <laughs> it was like one of those things I like I changed the sheets on the bed. It was so gross. Are you going to write an apology letter to the woman that No, no. I wouldn't I don't make them the... clean it. I just, you know, I just feel horrible <laughs> for them and I'm so sorry. They it's fine. <laughs> Two shows Friday and Saturday. <laughs> <this one. laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, that's but yeah. Funny. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I exercised a lot. Started eating healthy, a bit healthier. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I was doing. I went to Hawaii in January. Uh, and did you get on a stage in Hawaii? No, no, no. It was uh, strictly vacation. Uh, yeah. It was kind of like this weird um thing that it just kind of happened that my friend was like, "Hey, my sister has a house here." Uh. And she's not going to, their family's not going to be there. She was like, so she said, I could bring some friends out here. Do you want to fly out and do it? And I was like, yeah. And I did it because I've never, I've never been to a place warm or tropical in my life. Okay. Uh, and have you? Yeah. yeah. Jamaica. I've been to Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. And it's so beautiful, you know, like, and I really enjoyed it. But like my first seven, my first week about, I was there for, I think, 11 days. Every day I was a little stressed because I was like, you're not working enough. You know, like oh. like whether I was writing or podcasting or whatever. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah. But then I finally was like, fuck it. Enjoy it. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. My mom had to drag my dad to go with her to Hawaii a few years ago. Oh, really? Because he doesn't like. It's like. Are you, are you kidding me? Go. We. Because he just doesn't know doesn't, what to... He doesn't want to travel. He doesn't, like... Uh, he's just... He's kind of a homebody. Like completely. I like my, yeah? Completely. Just goes down to the, his bar and has his drink and then... Oh, uh, there... No. That would... No. No? This, this fellow doesn't drink either. No? no. What does he do? He collects uh, and tries to resell antiques. 
that's a whole other story. But uh, I just don't understand how, uh, you know, being a, a trip to paradise. My parents are retired. Isn't that what you're like? What, 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 you uh, what did, we're yeah. working for? Are they in Minneapolis? Yeah. 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 I mean, isn't that what we're working for? Seems like. Sort of. Yeah. I mean, I want my whole life to, I want my work to feel like a retirement. You know, like in a way of like. It, ideally, absolutely. You know, like I'm pretty fortunate in that regard, I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. Oh, no. I, ideally. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. What would you be doing if you weren't doing comedy, do you mm. think? Oh, man. I don't know. Um, I'd like what to think. What would you be happy doing if money I think didn't matter? maybe. <sighs> based on how I look, I'd be like a truck driver or something. You know, like. If I didn't, if I only wanted to change careers, and I thought, what will fit my life the best if I don't have to change anything else? Sure. And it, I think truck driving is probably it because I would still be leaving all the time, still be driving, um, not talking to a lot of people, really enjoying my my uh, my mileage status in a lot of places. <laughs> And then uh, my mail would still be in a huge pile when I came home. <laughs> so I think that, like, I think truck driving. And plus, I already have, like, most of the clothes, you know, so. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a car in New York? No, no. I mean, I have plans. It seems like it would be great and also not great. Because, like, it seems like finding parking would be a motherfucker. But I don't know. But, like, it seems like going to the store or whatever and grocery shopping and not having to carry 10 bags of groceries home would be nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. That sounds awful. But eh, it's all, you know, it's all worth it. Like, mm. plus I'm gone a lot, you know, like I just get a bag of chips or whatever. And just come. <laughs> just get a, just yeah. tape them together. Just tape them together. Yeah. So last night, um, I was watching some television, YouTube. I was looking for some news on YouTube. And oh, was, you're one it, of those, huh? And it, uh, what, what does that mean? <laughs> you're a Q-tuber. Q-tuber? Oh, like QAnon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like Q-Bert YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you're in my wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk Q-Bert. Yeah. Um, and it was giving me suggestions, and one of the things I must have on uh, my suge- like on my interests on YouTube is podcasts. So it showed me uh, that podcast Kill Tony just had their 500th episode. And there's a video copy of it. So I clicked on it. I was watching it for a little bit. And I was like, oh, hey, I don't follow these guys on Instagram. So I went to Instagram uh-huh. and put in Kill Tony. Yeah. And Instagram. Tony Fauci. Instagram is worried about me now because I put the word kill. Have you ever heard of this? I, I typed the word kill before I even got the word Tony in the name of that show. And uh, it came up here. I have a screenshot of it. Can we help? Posts with words you're searching for often encourage behavior that can cause harm and even lead to death. If you're going through something difficult, we'd like to help. And then it has a button to get support to click on. Well, that's kind of nice. I mean, I guess something terrible had to happen for them to want to post that. I guess. To avoid being sued. What word um, was going to come after kill myself? I mean, it could, be, it could be like, or like, when you put in kill Tony, I was like, oh, maybe it's some crazy thing like people... Hashtag fire Fauci kill Tony Fauci. Like, I thought maybe that's where it was going. Like, oh, you were searching something illegal. Sure, yeah. Or not illegal, but you know what I mean. Like, 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 frown- like that could be problematic. Yeah. But then you're just putting in kill Tony podcast. Yeah. 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 I thought that was. Uh, so, yeah, I don't. It's, that is a good thing that that kept popped up, I think. Also could be a little scary in the sense of what it can search for how quickly yeah yeah, yeah. or like what what it can noti- how it can notify but maybe it's not that big a deal i could be overthinking a great <laughs> deal who gives a shit? i'm not that bright who gives a fuck let's not overthink it let, yeah, yeah. Let, let's i'm not get... the person to ask i just i don't want to be the person that always like poo poo something because of a what if you know like like I'm like, that should be there. That warning should pop up. And then I'm like thinking of like, what's wrong about this warning? Like like the idea yeah, uh, uh-huh. of it, you know? And then like somebody like, well, they're using algorithms and they could possibly use those algorithms to like find out whatever. Yeah. They know I didn't like, wear like, a, I didn't wear a mask yesterday. Yeah, or whatever like and I just like I don't want to be a person who thinks like 
that's clearly a good thing that they're popping that up there and trying to like help people if that's what it is for. It would be amazing if someone was like, but I think I was down. I was at the lowest point in my life. And <laughs> I... <laughs> 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 Fucking Instagram saved my life. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> Social media is, you know, most. Is, yeah, that's uh, a good thing. But then some people will be find a way to be upset about that. Too, right. I guess. Yeah. Right. Right. And right. I don't want to be that person, but I probably am in some way. <laughs> Last time you were here, you brought along your buddy Sam Evans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he doing? Who cares? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Sam is good. He is a. Uh, he didn't come this time, um, and I I think it was because he's vaxxed now. But I was like, last time we drove. That's right. And it kind of. Not the drive knocked us on our ass a little bit, oh. like just uh, coming back because we did it all in one shot. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, so it was like a twenty-two hour like straight drive. Jesus. Yeah, and uh, like starting over in comedy. No, no, no. It was a. Uh, it was. It wasn't starting over. It was like a step down from that. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was like, uh, <laughs> Uh, I was More like, like running how away. Is this worse, like feel this world. Uh, <laughs> but we drove it. Uh, it was it was it was like actually a good drive. But I had to go out to the airport to get my goddamn car, and there was so much construction out there. I missed my exit, and it took me like forty minutes in the wrong direction. Oh no! And I was like already like on top of a twenty-three hour day. Or yeah, whatever. you don't want I was, that. I was like, fuck this. And then Sam wanted to stop at an ice cream place in his hometown of Perrysburg, Ohio. But that was an hour out of the that's way. Good. Okay, hour. That's not too bad. Yeah. So <laughs> that really. But the, there was like a thirty-minute wait in line for the goddamn sugary treats that we later had to make a two-hour bathroom stop for. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, and we were just like getting like we were really revving up against it. We were so tired, like, mm-hmm. and Sam was a trooper and drove most of it but like i was just like kind of like fucking pennsylvania is a very pretty state Uh a lot of the time but at night it is fucking terrifying like there's just so much woods and so much empty space sure because it's like pittsburgh then philadelphia like is what if there's not a lot of space in Mm -hmm. between those you know like maybe altoona or something but uh it was just like we were just like driving. There's not a lot of light, you know. Yeah. Like we were just driving forever. I was like, we're gonna fucking die, and then uh, we made it. Great ending, Shane. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I listened back to when you were here uh, in August, and that was one of the things uh, that we talked about. And then another thing, and I, I hesitate to ask about this, but I'm going to. The you had a thing that was going to be on Quibi that we talked about. Will Smith and Sean Pat uh, yeah. and everybody, and then yeah. Quib- fucking disintegrated. Another thing. That was taken from me. It sounded. And Will Smith. Who would have thought? So I searched uh, in the last couple days, like, is this thing going to pop up someplace else? And I saw one article was written that maybe Roku was yeah, purchasing it. That, it may show up there. Yeah, that it might. But um, you don't know anything? About- well, I think Roku, but, and I could be wrong, but my understanding is that maybe... Quibi sold their library of already aired and produced things that had already been made and put out to the public on the Quibi platform. Maybe that uh, content. <laughs> uh, I hate that word. Ditto. Um, maybe that content could end up on Roku because Roku is its own thing, and I guess they have a their own channel and stuff. Yeah. Um, which would be great. But I don't know what the hang-up is and if the Will Smith stuff is. I have not been told that the Will, Steph, Will Smith stuff is on there for sure. Beca- the the thing I did with Will Smith. Yeah. yeah because um, it never technically came out. So maybe that has something to do with it. Like, I oh. guess they had a deal. Yeah. But then it never came out. And then I guess that means, like, Will Smith stuff, He maybe it wasn't... It, it's not part of the deal. I don't know. You know, like, so maybe it'll be on Roku or maybe Will Smith will throw it on YouTube or something. You know, I would love to see it somewhere. Yeah. Um, there were so many funny people that were part of it. And I it, know. Like, it was like, and that was like my second thing last year that I canned. 
uh, because of this goddamn pandemic. Uh, God, let's get through this motherfucker. Uh, you know, so I'm just kind of worried about that stuff. But, yeah. Uh, not worried, but like I would love to see it come out because it was, it was cool, you know. And then like Sean and David and Megan and uh, so many other great people, uh, Christy. So uh, like Jack, like there were so many great people. Not Jack Rail. Uh, Rosebud what, Baker. I think? I think I think Rosebud was there, if I remember correctly. Baron was there. Uh, not Jack wasn't there. Why did I say Jack? Was Jack there? Maybe he wasn't. Who cares? Uh, he's doing fine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Rel was there. There were so many cool people, Chris Estrada, and I just would like all of us to get an opportunity like that. You mm-hmm. know, like the amount of eyes Will Smith commands just on a finger snap is crazy. You right. Know? You know, and I bombed on my set. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't say it. I would say I picked the wrong material for this crowd, is what I would say. Really? Yeah. And where where were the shows? They Las were in Las Vegas. Vegas, in a club at Top Golf. Oh, that's right. Now yeah. I'm just coming back to me. Yeah, Top because Golf. they they kind of converted one of their event spaces into a right uh, comedy club. It looked good, to yeah. be honest with you. It really did. That part was not the problem. I misread the room. Hmm. I did a lot of material about. Moving my dad into a homeless shelter, and they were like, all looking at Will Smith look sad for me. Because <laughs> he's there watching you, and you're like, yeah, I remember this trauma. You know, because I do a lot of, like, I guess some kind of trauma y stuff in my comedy. Yeah. I talk oh, yeah. About, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, or whatever is difficult. And then I, I still think it's a funny story. Uh, and just watching Will Smith look at me like, you sure, bro? Yeah, and he was also very, like, laughing. He was a good audience member, but, like, it's kind of... It's so crazy to be the focus of something when there's something so much more famous or more, like, appealing or, like, notable in the room. Like, oh, you see... Was, like, I was the focus because I was on stage. Yeah. But everybody knows it's, like, Will Smith is right there. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's what's weird about it. Like, yeah. that's what's what, Will think? Yeah, yeah, like, it's 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 kind of wild. Uh, maybe and I don't know if everybody did that. Some people were just laughing and like enjoying the show. I think, but yeah. like, I clearly there was a small element maybe of people who were like watching him watch me. You know, <laughs> like and maybe I'm overthinking that too. But I don't. I don't think so. Uh, the only you know, I mean, I, maybe I'm overthinking, but I do think that was happening. Is what I was saying. And I, I guess it's just a thing that happens to that guy, which is more interesting than a lot of stuff. What if it comes or out a phenomenon? And- what if it comes out and the only cam- camera was actually on Will, just getting yeah. his reaction? Yeah, and he's just like, <laughs> cool. It's just audio of your yeah. jokes. Yeah, and it's like, and then this crazy guy. This is the sound I heard a lot during my set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's freaking fantastic. Hey, uh, being from Texas. Great, yes, the greatest state in the world. The greatest state in the world. Are you surprised that uh, I was a couple of weeks ago? I was uh, the you know when the major league baseball season was going to start, and they were doing like the, oh they're going to have all these you know uh, like a target field here for the Twins, all the you know limited capacity and this and yeah. that. And then I saw Texas Rangers, one hundred percent wide open. Oh, state yeah. of Texas, wide open. Yeah, being someone that's from there, are that's you not su- our great. That's not. What are you surprised? Us. That's not what makes us the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised? Everything is bigger in Texas because we have managed to shrink everything else in capacity in other regular. Oh, is that yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, am I surprised by what, though? What was the question? That, that, that they're the ones who are like, fuck it, let's open no, up. I think Greg Abbott's a fucking idiot. I okay. think the governor's a fucking moron, and I think he's, uh, I think the leadership in that state is disgusting. Yeah. And a, uh, a point, like, and I, I think they are doing this, and... And it's mostly like uh, trolling. Like, I think they're doing it to be like, see, we're fine, you know, like, and then COVID numbers are bad. You know, like, I think, I think that's what they're, I think they're selfish as fuck. Yeah. I think they're digging their heels in, and Greg Abbott's a fucking lunatic. Do you still have family there? I have two brothers there. Yeah. And some nephews and yeah. niece. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, if they called, if uh, the like the hottest club in Texas, I don't know what that is, but called today. And oh, like, I'd go. You'd go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I go. I mean, I'm here. I like. I want to work too, but like, I'm also working. 
you know, I've played this room when it's been, this is the, like, you know, like always, like it's the best club in the country or it's always like mentioned up there with all the other great Acme is and it, for a reason. And I have, the last two times I've played here, it's because like it's been during COVID and things that have, you know, limited capacity. Yeah. Which I understand. And, okay. You know, like, happens. This is the compromised version of what we all, but, but yeah. I've also played, the first time I played here, I think, one of the shows was sold out, you know, like, which was uh, uh, great and full. And this, it was like, you feel like a superhero, you know, like, yeah. everywhere else is doing a compromised version of everything. Yeah. Because they're trying to do the right thing. And you just don't want to. And you're saying it's because, like, we can't bend to fear the fear of the virus. It's like, yeah, I understand, like. There, at a point, everything will be a little uncomfortable coming back out of this thing. But you are prolonging this, whether you think you are or not. Yeah. Like, your irresponsible beha- behavior is... Fuck him. I hope he, somebody shits on his head. <laughs> I do not like that motherfucker. Did you see... So the uh, the Minnesota Twins, they had like a day where they uh, all got inoculated, except for one player. He has COVID now. Does he really? I swear to God. Who was the player? And Andrelton Simmons. Okay, it's their new shortstop. Yeah, he like he you know he was public about. It. He's like I'm not going to say why, but I have uh, my own reasons on why I'm not going to take this that he's been saying for at least a month now. And then yesterday he was not in the starting lineup because he has COVID. And um, uh, he's fine. I mean, I yeah, like everybody wants him to be fine, and I understand people have different reasons for not wanting to take a vaccine, and there could be a million of them, and. Some of them have, like, legitimate, re- like, what I would think are legitimate, and then some of them I think is bullshit. Like, people, these fucking idiots who think Bill Chip is putting a microchip in their head because they want to know what's going on at the Arby's in Bessemer, Alabama, can fuck <laughs> off. Uh, That's why they're not making potato cakes anymore. You know, it's all connected. Yeah, yeah. But, like, it's one of those things that, like, you know, I don't want to get too far into it because I'm not, one, I, I already have some backs. I, like, I already got... Uh, my first shot. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. Um, so I had clearly, it's, I'm not unbiased, but I was like, some people feel like have their reasons and they feel like they're very legitimate. And I don't know, man. Just get the fucking shot. Like, <laughs> trust people. Like, every person is kind of getting them. Every kind of person is getting them, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, like, and there's, like, definitely a lot of things that are not going well with this. But, like, I just, like, I don't... The conspiracy theory shit, and I know that's a word, uh, phrase that's used to dismiss a lot of things, but you're fucking, don't be stupid. Like, actually just read about it and not, you know, read from a medical profession. I have a friend who's a doctor, yeah. who's a doctor and knows, has training, and she has people in her family, and she got the vaccination shot while she's pregnant as a physician, and fucking... She's people in her family who are not doctors who are like, how could you do this? Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I know how to read a medical report. Yeah. Shut up. Like, that's how much people want to believe things. You know, like, but they'll be the, when something is wrong with them, I guarantee you she's the first person they call. You know, like. Oh, absolutely. You know, like, that's what's fucking stupid. One thousand percent. Absolutely. One thousand percent. Final thing I'm going to ask you. No. We're going to go the other direction. No. No. These Let's go in the other right. Yeah, the COVID hot talk for me is really what's going to move this podcast up. <laughs> We're going to flip it the other way. The silver lining for you for the last year. What's been the what's the good thing that has come out of this of the last year? Uh-oh. Mm. That's a good question. You uh, let's see. Yeah, you're thinking about that all What was, what is it for you? You fill some space while I think. Sure. Yeah. Um I have it's it's weird. I lost some part time jobs I had uh, because of things have shut down. But then on the flip side of that is I've never spent more time at home with my family, and that's been great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not just saying that because it makes me sound <laughs> like oh, listen to makes him. Makes you sound lame. <laughs> I will say, um, <laughs> lame. I get like this is. I like I work. That's what I choose to do with most of my time, mm-hmm. and I like that about my life. Like I enjoy my work. So, uh, and I oftentimes like a lot of people 
are not happy with their position in comedy and show business. Like, sure. But I worked more than most other comics last year. Yeah. You know, and I uh and I guess that is on some reflection because I uh was doing well better than I thought before. So it gave me a little perspective, I yeah. think. Uh so uh while I am not exactly where I want to be or happy with where I am in my career, I am better off than I thought I was. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I think that's It gave me a little perspective. Good. Yeah. yeah. And I, I It's also motivating to a degree. Yeah. There uh it's something we brought up on the podcast here last week is the Acme recently hired a bunch of new MCs. And it and and uh, and a, one of the regulars here, Robert Burrill, has been pushed up to a, a headliner. He's going to have his first headlining week. That's great. And it, a lot of it is based on the fact that they showed up and did the stage time while other people weren't. So yeah, you know, like there's a part to that. Like I like I mean I got to be here twice this exactly. a year, and I lo- I do love this club. I love this town, and like you know I want to come back here again when it's full. You know, like when mm-hmm. people, but like you're the first one back in the. You know, since we've been in the last year, you're, yeah. you're the first one that's done two weeks. Yeah, yeah. So, that's oh boy, to, no, that's that, good. Yeah, I, is it good? Okay, let's hope so. What would be bad about that? I don't know. I'll find something. I can't even think of one thing that would be bad about that. I, uh, I don't know. I, right. I'll find a way to be upset. <laughs> uh, no, I like it. Just it worries. You know, I worry. You know, like. I hope it's good. I think it's good. And I just want I want to see this place like I want the customers to be here not where that black tape is. You know, like that kind of stuff cuz that was the best part. Cuz this room is so good. Like it taught me to appreciate what I had before this and what I have going on during it, you know, and I'm trying to be grateful for those things. Yeah. But I think it's like and I guess I'm just a gloom and doom son of a bitch. <laughs> but I guess, like I, you know, like we are all tired of being at, like having it be at a volume, oh, yeah. life being at a volume of two when you want it to be at a ten. Yeah, absolutely. Know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. In a good way. Yeah. 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 Uh, I have total confidence that when you're back again, it'll be back to whatever I'm we sure. call. You know, I'm sure. I know. What, it'll be back to what you described. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think so. Yep. I think so. Anything? Uh, buy some tickets here come yeah, see Shane this when, is this when does this go up as soon as possible yeah yeah all right um yeah come see me here uh also check my website i'm adding a lot of dates uh the oh so close tour is what i'm calling my dates well it's so nice to see you guys uh acme comedy club that's it i'm done i'm out of energy i need a salad i ate an apple or ate an apple fritter <laughs> for breakfast that's different than an apple you're the best.